Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Preparation video for November 1, 2018. So we finally finished up October. What a nasty month it was. And we're starting to see a little bit of improvement in the market. Got to tell you this morning, though, I'm a little bit suspicious of this uh, morning pop that we're seeing right now. Um, obviously, yesterday, we rallied up nicely and we, we got a little carried away. Market does that once in a while. Rallied right into this resistance level. And notice that we did break that downtrend. That's important did break that downtrend and broke through this little level of resistance right here. But notice we slammed right into this and then pulled all the way back here before the end of the day. Still closing uh, very, very positive on the day. Nothing wrong with that. But now this morning we're seeing a gap up in, um, in, the, in the market. Um, with so many companies reporting earnings, we can expect all, all kinds of volatility and all kinds of strange things to happen. But my big worry is with a shooting star pattern here in the in yesterday's market and gapping right back up toward resistance, it seems to me that we could be set up perfectly for the pop and drop pattern. Now, I hope that doesn't occur. Now, what is the pop and drop pattern? We've seen the pop and drop pattern many times here recently, and that's where we gap up at the open, and then sellers take over for the rest of the day. Gap up at the open, sell off the rest of the day. Gap up at the open, sell off the rest. You know, we, we've seen that. It's just been a pattern that's just happened over and over here recently. And this morning kind of gives me pause after seeing kind of a, well, a rejection of resistance. I don't want to call that necessarily a bearish candle. It's, it's not at the top of a pattern. A shooting star at the top of a pattern would certainly be bearish. This, um, with the volatility of the market right now, I don't know that you could interpret that pattern as being terribly bearish. But the gap up this morning that's gapping us right back up toward this resistance level has me a little bit um, suspicious and I'm going to be a little bit cautious about this morning's open. I want to see actual buyers stepping in. And why am I being cautious? Well, I'm going to ask you a question and, and hopefully you could ha answer this better than I can. What's changed? We still have midterm elections just around the corner next week. We still have a trade war going on with China. Um, things haven't really changed that created the sell-off to begin with. Earnings are still far from stellar. And this afternoon, we have some really big earnings reports. We have lots of earnings reports today, over 400 and, well, almost 450 companies reporting earnings today. Um, but the big one is this afternoon after the close, and that's when Apple reports, you know, the 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 last of the real fang stocks to report, so-called fang stocks to report. If they were to disappoint um, and anywhere close to the measure that Amazon, um, Netflix, those kind of uh, folks did, then um, we could have some issues tomorrow morning. Also remember tomorrow morning before the open, we have the monthly employment situation number. Market tends to um, pause and wait uh, for information from that number, uh, at least ahead of it. So it makes me kind of question this move this morning and, and really puts a lot of risk in holding stocks um, into the close today because we could see tremendous volatility depending on how um, Apple reports and what happens in that employment situation number before tomorrow morning. So kind of think about that when you're planning your risk forward and, and, and planning your risk as you move toward the weekend. So overall, okay, nothing really bad here, but certainly reason for a little bit of concern and just a little bit of caution. So hey everyone, um, before I go any further, I wanted to ask everyone if you could do me a favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click 
click the follow me button on Facebook and also please 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 feel free to share these videos with any friends and family um, clicking those thumbs up buttons really helps me out a lot and dropping a comment is also very very helpful so thank you for those who do that I truly truly appreciate it and please stick around for the end of the video because I do plan to give you a, a chart that's setting up pretty nicely for a potential uh, to watch uh, for the rest of the day. So with that, everyone, um, let's take a look at the SPY. With the SPY looking pretty decent here, uh, popping up, but once again, putting in kind of that shooting star candle pattern and we did it right here at a price resistance you know kind of right in here where we catch all these touches to this candle and we rejected that price pretty substantially um, yesterday bringing it all the way back down and now once again here we are we're getting that gap up this morning that I'm a little bit suspicious of as we gap right back up toward resistance let's hope it really is real that the bulls are going to come in and support this that we're going to challenge this resistance and maybe pop through but the fact that really nothing has changed makes me want to question that let's take a look at the cues cues virtually the same situation um, held on a little bit better yesterday didn't push all the way back down but as we rallied up here slammed into this um, resistance level in here slammed into it and then pulled back we did hold above that downtrend so we have broken those downtrends uh, at least for the short term and um, once again, gapping back up toward that resistance level this morning, giving me that little bit of caution. IWM. IWM, I actually made some really good money on IWM yesterday afternoon, taking a short trade um, on IWM. But we gapped up into this resistance. And then saw some sellers coming in here, um, pushing this back down. We are holding above this downtrend, but once again, that resistance coming into play. So this gap up this morning, we just have to be a little bit cautious of. If we take a look at the VIX, the VIX did a nice job of relaxing just a little bit yesterday pulling back but not pulling back as much as I would really kind of hoped uh, considering the fact that we have rallied so much in just two days um, I, I would have expected a, maybe a little bit more of relaxation in fear but we really didn't get that so kind of keep an eye on this we want this to pull on back down into this support level and hopefully break down through that support level we don't want to see a higher low created here and i want you to notice i what i just drew there was the potential of that could be where the bounce is for for the, the current trend of the vic so kind of keep a, keep an eye on that hopefully that doesn't occur hopefully that fear doesn't creep back in but we do want to keep an eye on it T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. Remember I said the one thing I really didn't want to see is I really didn't want to see these big spikes occur. Uh, <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. We got another one of those big spikes. Now that doesn't necessarily mean we have to swing all the way back down. What it does mean is we are we are now up here in this this uh, fifty percent area where we have plenty of upside room that we could we could move the market up, but we also have opened the door for plenty of downside room. So moving us so quickly to that upside. Now the other thing that um, I want to draw your attention to, and, and not that it. It, it's going to make that much difference but notice that area right there that's exactly where we've been turning around so hopefully that's not the case today but it does give me just a little bit of pause um, in the fact that we have we're, we're continuing this real volatility this real volatility uh, price action where we get these incredible spikes um, only to be disappointed by that so watch that close as we move into the day let's um take a look on the economic calendar today not a whole lot going on on the economic calendar um well i, I shouldn't say that we have a big economic calendar day and as you can see i've kind of switched this up on the economic calendar here recently um 
But probably the biggest this morning is the ISM uh, manufacturing report. So you'll want to keep an eye on that and um, pay attention to what's going on in the in the economic calendar today with a few of those big reports coming uh, coming through so watch that carefully who knows what's going to happen but we do want to pay attention um, to those news events and also last but not least those earnings are coming in fast and furious this morning um, lots of earnings coming through so um, let's keep an eye on that um, i'm even seeing apple trying to respond higher this morning just in anticipation of that earnings report so hopefully they report well we really need we really need some warm and fuzzies um, in this market to help us pick back up so hopefully we get that warm and fuzzy with apple so with that everyone hey a um, couple things i wanted to point out there's been some really great charts here recently um, showing up in the market now what i want to point out and, and, and you can't trade this today you cannot trade this today because Starbucks is reporting this afternoon. But I wanted to point out we have a really nice pattern, a uh, nice trending pattern setting up here in Starbucks. And what we, we see commonly in stocks is that we move up and then we come back and in some way try to find a way back to the trend. Well, notice this move up here that rejected all of the volatility here in the market. And now we've just gone sideways. So something might be going on here. You're going to want to watch this uh, for earnings or after earnings um, in that chart to see if that can uh, kind of pick up and maybe get moving. I had mentioned PZZA yesterday. PZZA performed pretty well. Again, I think this chart is setting up for more upside. This doesn't report until the 6th, so there's still opportunity for this to move up. Watch this in here if this can move on through um, this resistance area. Watch that for a potential upside. Kind of like that chart, and uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens um, with it. I'm also um, pretty keen on keeping an eye. Let's see, all of a sudden I lost the chart on uh, McDonald's here. McDonald's had a really, really big move um, on earnings. And then we pulled back, held that level of support in here. And we, we came right back up. Now we're getting just a little bit of rest here yesterday. So that little bit of rest could just be nothing more than a test to come back and hold on to this level. Now, one thing I do have a question of, we're quite a, quite a long ways from our current trend. But other than that, um, McDonald's is looking well. I wouldn't say this is a trade for today, but I would certainly want to put that on the list. And last but not least, um, FireEye. FireEye had a really, really nice move on earnings. Here's what I want to point out. FireEye has just now recently broke this major long-term downtrend. And if you take a look at this on the weekly, this is a really nice pattern where we break that long-term downtrend, hold this area in this choppy mess right in here, but hold it as support. And now you can see buyers have really stepped up here. So I wouldn't say fire, I wouldn't really want to chase FireEye um, today, but I would keep a watch on FireEye as it moves around here and possibly moves back over toward its trend. We want to watch this. FireEye could settle down and turn into a pretty nice opportunity uh, trade for the upside. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And please, please, please never give up on yourself. If you're struggling as a trader, if the price action has been really challenging for you, please understand you are not alone. This is a tough market right now. Stick with the, stick with your um, rules, uh, become disciplined in your trading. And um, if we can be of any help, please let, let us know. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you all bright and early on Friday morning. Have a